All right, we've got our accident scene here. We've got our uh, paramedic with the uh, patient there. Once again, very similar to what we did with the oil rig, you can make it to where the person lands inside that area. That object would disappear to signify that you've got the person in there. Now, if uh, any of you know much about helicopters, you'd realise that we have one major problem here. The mission we started with is not the mission we ended with, and at the moment inside this five-seater helicopter we have three people and we want to put a sitting person. Now, Jet Ranger is really not the best aircraft for this, but that's what we've started with. So, what do we do? Okay, the easiest thing to do would be to change the aircraft into an aircraft that would suit better. And uh, so, easiest thing to do, aircraft, select aircraft. Now, you notice this window hasn't worked. That's because we've still, the cursor's got IMM underneath it. It's thinking that we want to touch all this screen here. It's not going with the window. So we've got to go back here, turn that off, bring this back, then go aircraft, select aircraft, that works fine. So now say we want the, uh, I might go the squirrel. And there we go, we now have our squirrel back. But once again, we've now lost all our scenery. So we go back. Now, the thing is, when we first started this, the aircraft we chose as the aircraft in position was this one. So what we need to do is go world, once again turn the scenery off, the preview off, uh, world, go to airport, KSBA 13, OK. Now that'll take a little while to load. Now here we come back up the top, general missions, and we're going to use that use current FS position again. So as soon as the uh, FS10 finishes loading, you see we're, we're back to where we want. And if we just double check to make sure when we click this that we're at the same helipad, we are. So we, we need. That's now loaded that it's going to be the squirrel instead of the jet ranger. So then we can then go back down to here click on any one of the scenery objects that's near there, jump to here, we're back to the, the scene again. So that's all sweet, ready to go. Alright, so all you'd need to do from here is make it to where they either go back to the helipad, meet an ambulance, or go to a hospital. But there's a few other things we might want to do first. So what we might do is we'll go back into this, click the pause, come back to our flight and what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this off for a second because we don't want that in view take off and come to a external view and then what we're going to do is just click V just get a couple of different screenshots again. Alright, and we'll pause that. So we've just taken a couple of screenshots by clicking V. What we then do is we go and open that up and we're going to put that into the menu. Okay, here's the screenshots we just took. We'll probably just go with this one here. So we open that one up. Now this is opening up in Photoshop, but you can do the same thing in just about any uh, photo editing software or even the standard stuff that comes with Windows. And let's open up. So we then say create a highlighted section like so. And we'll copy. Now we go back to Instant Mission Maker, back up to General Properties, Images, click Paste. Now it says here we're going to resize it. You happy with that? Yes. And yes. And there you go. You now have your start and your finish already created, already set to go. Simple as that. Now, 
once you've done that the next probably the last step would be to create a reward now as I say we've just got it to where they're going to land in that area and it's going to say that they've accomplished you might have it like we said before making them go to a hospital so we go to FS10 and create grant reward okay so you just need to read that up a bit later okay so you choose what reward type you want badge certificate medal so we want medal Image posted here is no longer okay. Hang on just a sec. Paste image, and there we go. Using that same image, you now have a reward that'll come up and that'll be loaded. When you go to give the mission to somebody, you will have to grab that boss transfer RWD file and make it to where that actually gets placed into the reward folder because that is separate to everything else. The other thing you now need to do if you want to send this to anybody is if you've used any scenery that is not in the standard FS10 folder uh, that comes when you first install FS10 you need to send them a copy of that. That's it's a lot easier here than it was in the old F, um, FS9 days. You don't have to go and find the uh, texture and all that sort of stuff. It, it really is a case of okay you want General Radio 01 um, which is in the Hazards BGL you go into say your miscellaneous objects you'll find that uh, copy it, make a um, folder and that they will import that into their FS10 and then they're right to go. So well, that's pretty much it. Uh, from there you'll get a, a basic idea of all the things you can do. Uh, some of the other functions you could do here, say once they're taken off, um, is you know, user should uh, reach a flight parameter. They've got to reach above a thousand feet or whatever you want to do beforehand. Um, there's a lot of different functions you can put into this and really have some fun and create some great missions.